find envelope of a system of concentric and coaxial ellipses of constant area. We are considering family of concentric and coaxial ellipses, which means that these ellipses share common axis. All these ellipses are having common coordinate axis or let us assume that x axis and y axis act as major axis and minor axis for all these ellipses. Let us suppose that x square by a square plus y square by b square equals 1 where a and b are parameters represent family of ellipses which share common center and common axis. Since it is given that all these ellipses have constant area, let us assume area of the ellipse which is given by pi ab equals pi c square where c is just a constant. Thus we have pi ab equals pi c square. When you cancel pi from both sides, you will get ab equals c square from where we have b equals c square divided by a. When you give this relation to in equation 1, equation 1 will reduce to an equation with only one parameter a. You will just replace b square by c square by a the whole square. Thus you can see that equation 1 has now reduced to an equation with only one parameter a. This equation can be rewritten as x square by a square plus y square a square by c raised to 4 equals 1 which can also be written as x square into a raised to negative 2 plus y square by c raised to 4 multiplied to a square equals 1. Let us call this as equation 3. Since we wish to find out envelope of this family of ellipses a being the parameter we will now partially differentiate equation 3 with respect to parameter a. We have partial derivative of a raised to minus 2 with respect to a will give us negative 2 into a raised to negative 2 minus 1 which becomes negative 2 into a raised to negative 3. Thus partial derivative of x square into a raised to negative 2 is obtained as this expression. Similarly we have partial derivative of second term with respect to a is obtained as 2a multiplied to y square by c raised to 4 and derivative of constant 1 is 0. While carrying out partial derivative with respect to a, we will be considering x, y as constants. When you divide both sides of this equation using 2, you will get minus x square into a raised to minus 3 plus y square a divided by c raised to 4 equals 0 which can be rewritten as y square a divided by c raised to 4 equals x square by a cube from which we have a raised to 4 equals x square c raised to 4 divided by y square. We just take a cube to the LHS and the remaining expressions are brought to RHS. Taking square root on both sides of this equation, we will get a square equals c square x divided by y. Let us call this relation as equation 4. Now we will give equation 4 in equation 3. That is, in equation 3, wherever a square appears, we will replace it by c square x by y. This will help us to eliminate parameter a from equation 3. Since a square equals c square x by y, we can replace a raised to negative 2 using y divided by c square x. Because a raised to negative 2 is reciprocal of a square. Giving equation 4 in equation 3, we obtain x square into y by c square x plus y square by c raised to 4 multiplied to c square x by y equals 1. Here we have x and x can be cancelled and y and y can be cancelled. We have x square divided by x becoming x in numerator and y square divided by y becoming y in numerator for the second term. Thus on simplification this equation reduces to this form which gives us the expression 2xy equals c square. This equation independent of parameters is the required equation of envelope for family of concentric and coaxial ellipses.